Hello everyone, welcome back. This is ZTube with another Seven Days to Die video. I had a very exciting thing happen this week, which was we reached our 100 subscribers on my channel, which I was very excited about. And as I speak, we are now on 103 subscribers. So very exciting times. As a way to celebrate, I thought I would do a bit of a build video and do a massive horde. So, um... I'll just fly up here a little bit to show you what we have. This is a build that I made uh, in creative mode, obviously. It is a kind of a bigger version of a base that I built in a previous alpha. I think it was alpha 15, uh, may have been 14. I can't really remember. But anyway, uh, I built this base uh, in uh, survival mode. Uh, it was not as big as this, although it was still quite impressive although this is a lot more impressive i've got to say it's made fully out of steel um it's um huge as you can see and uh i'll give you a little tour so if we come down the um little uh galley gully galley gully mm, i don't know gully we've got uh turrets all facing outwards all around um which uh is you know, providing security, as you can hear. It's already killing someone. Um, we have um, all the turrets. Each turret has got 150 bullets in it, so um, eventually they will run out, um, which I think we need to give the zombies a bit of a chance, let's face it. Uh, anyway, so that's the outside. Uh, if we go down, uh, this, this is the way in, um, down here. So we'll go down this vault, uh, vault hatch, um, in here, uh, and we can head down, down these steps, then we go into a very long corridor, which has all got lights in it, uh, oh, hold on, let me get rid of the, there we go, I was in god mode there, I need to turn that off, um, yeah, so we've got a very long corridor, which is all nicely electrical lighting, uh, which leads up into this, uh, bit here, um, and I'll shut this door. Um, I think we'll go. We'll go upstairs first. We'll start at the top and work our way down. So if we carry on right to the top, uh, we will lead us up to our solar panels, a bank of solar banks, uh, solar panels. Um, this uh, is a fully, um, you know, environmentally friendly base. Uh, it uses only solar panel, only solar power uh, to power everything. Uh, so we've got solar banks on the top, uh, I think there's eight of them, which then powers uh, eight battery banks underneath, which is all wired up. It took me an absolute age to wire up all these, um, all this stuff in this base, so it took me forever, but we got there in the end, it did take a while. Anyway, so we've got all the battery banks uh, running, uh, these should be turned off, yes, uh, the, no, they're turned on. They're not providing any power at the minute so basically the the solar panels charge up provide power during the day and charge up the batteries and then when it's night time the batteries kick in and power everything in the base that's how it works so if we head down to the next section we have uh, a load of um, gun safes which um, you know is for storing all my guns obviously and all my weapons um, and ammo and everything like that so that's all down there and then if we head out here we've got two layers um, basically um, we've got two layers of turrets on top then we have a bridge that goes out onto this section which then has uh, bars all the way around so we can shoot the zombies down and you know we can stand around and kill everything oh there's a bootload of dogs there um, kill a dog why not um, so anyway, that is the second level, and then if we go down another another set of steps, uh, we come to the um, this is the uh, construction zone. So we've got four uh, cement mixers and two workbenches and loads of storage on the wall. Um, we then come into a little um, sort of um, area for relaxing. You know, we've got a co sofa there. Uh, we've got pool table. Some drinks machines, uh, you know, an ice maker, you know, some nice photos of the wall of like, you know, family members or 
I don't know who they are, but anyway, never mind. Uh, we've got a bunch of forges, uh, plenty of forges. I mean, in order to maintain a base like this, you're going to need a lot of forges to make lots of steel. Uh, this base is made entirely out of steel. Uh, then we come into the bedroom. Uh, very nice little bit of mood lighting going on in here with the lamps. Oh, that thing disappeared there. Um, we've got some pictures of... Uh, oh, there's Ben there. Hey, Ben. Uh, we've got uh, some... A chest there with some stuff in um yep so we've got all that uh we come back down uh, and we come to the the library i suppose um got a nice seating area here for chilling and reading some books uh and we've got oh uh, we've got a lot of loot in here so if you come across this place in a survival game uh you'd be happy because you're gonna find you know, shitloads of loot, which would be nice. Uh, if we move on into the kitchen area, we've got two cookers here um, with a, you know, fireplace on top. Um, it's the only way to cook in, in the survival, in, you know, in the apocalypse, you have to use a campfire. Uh, you can't use ovens, nope. Even if you do have electricity. Um, fridge, you know, bin, lots of storage, chests, uh, not chests, lots of storage shelves. Um, we've got a nice little, um, you know, breakfast bar seating area to sit and eat your breakfast and, you know, have a can of sham, whatever you want to do. And then we move on in to the, uh, chem station zone, uh, two chem stations and again, loads of storage, plenty of room for to store all your stuff. And then we come into the bathroom area, uh, which is utilitarian, I would say. But uh, Spartan is the word. That's the word, Spartan. We've got a bath. Uh, we've got toilet. We've got a little, uh, you know, sink area. Um, but really, this is the main deal. Big, huge shower. Walk-in shower. Six jets. No, eight jets. Eight jets of water. So, you know, you can get every little crevice jetted away. Get rid of that rubbish. All that dirt. You know, when you kill the zombies, you get covered in blood and brains and all sorts of stuff. You know, you need a nice good shower to clean yourself off afterwards. Um, and, you know, there's room in here for plenty of people. You can get, you know, five, six people in there. No probs. Um, have a nice big shower party. Um, you know, little area for washing your clothes, drying your clothes, all that. Um, and then that's, that's where we came from. Um, and then if we come back out this way, this whole area is um, farm plots. So we've got a huge garden, planted all these seeds. You know, we've got every seed you can think of. Um, really, if you don't want to leave this place, you can just literally sit here and eat all this stuff. Um, you wouldn't have to leave. We've got mushrooms growing. We've got corn. We've got coffee, you know, golden rods, everything. Whatever you need, it's here. So, I mean, it's really a self-sustaining base, to be honest. I mean, it's solar-powered. We've got a huge amount of garden space. Um, really, uh, we've got an underground section, so you can do your mining down there. Uh, you could extend that mine in lots of different directions, and you know you'd be good for forever. Really, um, can't see how you wouldn't survive. So, um, as a celebration of reaching a hundred subscribers. I'm going to do uh, the day 700 horde. Um, as you can see, my character is fully maxed out to level 300, which is the max level you can get. And the game stage is 720. I expect a very large horde to come and get me. The horde is set to 64 zombies, so there'll be 64 zombies spawning in any one time. So that will be interesting. Uh, the keen-eyed among you will see that we have the Eden Centre Mall behind us. Um, there's the train station over there and I think you can just see in the distance Helmar over there. So, you know, if you fancy having a look at those episodes as well, they are uh, the current series running in Eden Centre Mall and we've got other videos that I've done in those two POIs. Uh, I just put this, this POI into the same world I'm going to move the time forward to 10pm, uh, uh, or just before, and then we shall get down, get into this horde. So, let's get going. Almost in the horde. Uh, so, we've got on us, 
armory wise we've got a crossbow ak-47 a magnum a pistol a shotgun an m60 a marksman rifle two junk turrets uh, a lot of ammo a lot of explosives molotovs that sort of thing so i think we should be okay for ammo anyway and we've got more ammo in the uh, uh, chests, the gun safes downstairs. So here we go. It starts already. Uh, get, ooh, getting spat out by by a, a vulture thing there. So I think, I mean, the turrets are doing all the the work right now. So I'm just going to leave them to do it. I mean, eventually they will run out of ammo, and then. We'll have to see how how we get on after that. Be interested to see how we survive. These guys are what are they up to? Okay. Seem to be concentrating their fire uh, their attack in on that block. So and they're moving round now, they're going round this side, so Happening around here. Oh, hello. So they seem to be concentrating on one block. I mean, that is the way the AI is working. They've obviously pathed away. Maybe that block's slightly damaged. So that's the easiest way to get to me. So that's what they're doing. It's unbelievable how much XP I'm getting from all these kills. I'm literally just standing here. The the perk for the um, turrets, uh, the traps, I think it's called. Uh, you get you get XP for the kills that that they do. So you can really just stand up here. Yeah, so they just still seem to be concentrating on this section here. I haven't seen any demolishers yet. I imagine we'll be getting some fairly soon. The amount of radiated zombies. Oh wow, look at them. Okay, um, tell you what to do. We need to get some Molotovs on the go. If I can sort of aim it about there. That's it. No, nope, I missed them. Oh, I need zombies. Uh, try about there. There we go. Oh, that worked. Try again. Oh, damn it. I was asking for that, really, wasn't I? I didn't bring any first aid either. I just set myself on fire. Okay, well, I'll just be on fire for the next 13 seconds. Well, if I'm on fire, these guys are going to go on fire as well. Brush it off. I think our character's got pretty, pretty decent healing abilities, so probably won't take that long to heal back up again. That was a cop exploding there. Oh my goodness, what's going on over here? Okay, oh, okay. So they're piling up over here and some of them are going over to the hatch over there. The AI is obviously pathed away to get to me. It's figured out they can they destroy that hatch. Look at them all, they're running. Okay. I'm 
Is there a zombie inside there? There is. Let's try and get that guy out. There we go. Uh, well, okay. I think I can get a grenade that far. Let's see. Try and get it, like, lob it that way. Boom. Oh, too high. We'll go a bit lower. Still too high. Oh, it would help if I pulled the pin out. Oh, there we go. Bang on. Okay, so let's do another one there. Oh! <laughs> I chuck, if I chuck one without the pin and then throw another one. Oh, yeah, we get a double explosion. <laughs> That's cool. Just gonna keep doing that a few times. So if I move back over this way, I bet they'll stop. They're gonna stop doing that, aren't they? No, nope, they're still doing it. Oh yeah. Let's try. Let's try my exploding arrows. Uh oh, that's a demolisher. Whoa! Demolisher just blew up. Yeah. I mean, let's try. Um, what else have we got? We've got um, pipe bombs. Let's try some of them. Oops. Let's chuck a few pipe bombs over there. Is that? Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> I don't know if they've actually got in yet. I don't think so. Can't see any going down the hole. an erupting mass of zombies. <laughs> Boom. Let's, uh, where's my, uh, what do you call it? My marksman rifle. Let's have a look. Try and get a closer look. I'm getting quite a bit of lag at the minute. The game... He's not liking this many zombies, I don't think. Let's try going around this side and seeing if they'll just follow me over here instead. Oh wow, they're inside. How did they get in? Okay. Interesting. Well, let's, uh, we need to get some jump turrets on the go then. Uh, where's my junk turret? There it is. They're in already. How did they get in? There we go. Let's uh, we'll take us. We'll draw a line in the sand here. <laughs> wow. We do have two junk turrets, which we can use both of them. So if I put one like here, put one there and put one there, I think we'll be pretty safe. Well, safe as we can be.
can hear them hitting a lot of stuff over here. Like, what are they doing? Man, the lag is really... Oh, hello. Okay, so they must have got through that, um, the hatch. Let's go back through. Let's take the shotgun with us. So they did get through here then. Where are they all? Nope. Look at the lag in the game. Wow. It's really struggling right now. Oh, there we go. Here they come. Hello. Okay, come on then. Down you pop. Come on then. I mean, you've got your way in the base. And you're not... There's too many trying to get down this, that small hole, I think. There they come. Oh my goodness me. Here they yeah, there they're coming. Now they're coming. There's so many of them, they can't actually get past each other. So they're just all bunching up inside the... It's fine with me. I'll just keep shooting them. Oh. Uh oh, that was not good. <laughs> Leave him to boom. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Oh, he blew up my lighting though. Corridor of death. Right, it's morning now. We're getting those more spawns in, at least. Okay. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, it's a she. Come on. Down you go. Now let's get out this hatch and see what the hell's going on. Oh, we can't. I think it's all destroyed. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we'll have to go back the other way. We'll see what's going on this way then.
mean, the base, even though the zombies got in here, they didn't really do that much damage. Um, so, what happened outside? We lost a block there. Oh, right, I think this is... What the hell are you doing up there, mate? Jeez. Okay, it's a bit of damage there, but not that much. So, I mean, basically, they they got their way in through the hatch. I think if the hatch was, like, further away, then I don't think they would have made it, to be honest. Where is that guy? I don't know. Um, well, anyway, that was the day 700 horde. Uh, we had a lot of zombies. I think the base is pretty good. Um, I think if I was going to do it again, I would just move this hatch a further away. Uh, somewhere a bit further away because they can clearly, they see that as a path. Um, I think if it was, if it was further, then they wouldn't see it as a path and then they wouldn't try and come and get me. Um, can hear a zombie somewhere running around. Where is he? Anyway, um, so I wanted to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. Um, 100 people, uh, you know, more than 100 people now, 103 people now have subscribed to me, which is awesome. Um, it's really cool to know that people out there want to watch my videos uh, and enjoy watching them. And I'm really glad. It's nice to know that people out there enjoy my videos. Uh, I enjoy making them and I'm really glad that you enjoy watching them. So... I will keep making them as long as you keep watching them. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.